In this video, I want to outline some uh, strategies for success that may be what I call edge strategies, or not necessarily your core strategies, but these are strategies that you use to complement your uh, essential strategies like your nutrition, your sleep, and your exercise. So I, I think of uh, four broad categories when I think of my edge strategies, and those four broad categories are supplements, and uh, meditation or mindfulness, and uh, cross-training, and prehab or rehab. So let's t I'll talk just briefly about each of those. Uh, supplements, when I think about supplements, I'm, I'm uh, suggesting to you that you think about, will I take a multivitamin or not? Um, do I need some protein power to um, uh, help uh, in my recovery, in my, in my muscle rebuilding? Do I need creatine to help, uh, help me make it through my workouts if I'm really uh, challenging myself? Or will a, a performance uh, enhancing uh, supplement like LEAP, which I take, uh, will that be sufficient? So you, you, you supplements are uh, an area where you can use to enhance uh, your essential strategies. Uh, meditation would be another one, uh, or visualization, where you take the time to think through, you know, where am I in the race, how is my body feeling, and, and feeling how you're, uh, what position it's in, what's my breath doing. Meditation of that sort, along with the actual practicing and drilling uh, on those techniques, has found to be very helpful, and you may find that to be uh, a helpful edge strategy. Um, and if meditation feels a little too Eastern for you, uh, certainly prayer would be uh, a more Western um, uh, use of that uh, same type of concept, same type of concept. Cross training is another, uh, what I call edge strategy, uh, something that you can do that complements your other training. And uh, there may be exercises you do in your strength development that may be taken from these disciplines, or you might use uh, these disciplines uh, uh, specifically as part of your development as a sprinter. So you might consider doing Pilates, uh, again a lot of core strength would be developed there, yoga as well, uh, flexibility as well as uh, strength, or you might do something like cycling, uh, particularly if you're in a colder climate and you can't get out uh, uh, side to work out and you might use a stationary bike to get some of that uh, specific um, adaptation uh, movement that cycling uh, has that uh, relates well to sprinting. And then finally, uh, in your rehab or your prehab uh, uh, strategies, um, I have certainly several here for you to consider. You might um, consider something like chiropractic uh, as uh, a way to get your body prepared to do that or, uh, workouts uh, or to compete or actually to, again, to um, uh, recover from that or, or any kind of body work um, professional. Somebody maybe does orthobionomy or uh, something like that where they're, they're, they're helping you uh, with um, injury prevention because they know how the body works and they're able to help you uh, be aware of your body. Acupuncture is another uh, uh, technique or strategy that you could use in this category. And of course, um, Things like massage or foam rolling or even the stick. I have a stick that I use and I have foam rollers that I use as well uh, to help uh, break up uh, any knots and things like that. So that can be part of your prehab or your rehab. So uh, as you're thinking about your training, uh, you, you, wanna, uh, you may want to uh, include things like uh, supplements, uh, meditation, prayer, visualization, uh, cross training or, or uh, rehab techniques as part of your uh, complementary uh, training uh, activities to complement your essential things like nutrition, uh, exercise, and sleep. I hope you find uh, this information or found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the track.